Today I want to share with you something that I think is very important. It's very simple, but very, very important. Consider this thought. If you have pain of any kind, psychological, physical, doesn't matter. Pain points to wrong perception. That's it. You don't need to try to find reasons that are um, external or complicated internal. You just by asking yourself question, what wrong perception am I having right now? And you ask this question anytime you're going through a rough time, either your body manifests physical symptoms or you have struggle that you're feeling, emotional struggle, psychological struggle. What wrong perception am I having right now? How do we know that it's a wrong perception? And it's not wrong from standpoint of morale or anything. That's how we know that it's wrong. There is a pain. Right perception do not lead to pain. That's it. That's the guidance for you. Pain is wrong perception. Pain is not foundation for creation. It's not. With realizing that perception is not correct perception, which usually not per expansive perception, but very contract. Is the correct contractual? No, contractual something would agreements and contract. Contracted, I guess that's what it is. Contracted state of mind leads to contractions in the body which we recognize as emotion of fear, anger, you name it, conflict, struggle. That's how we know it. Or it manifests itself in further symptoms that we start to see as a physical pain, from discomfort to pain or disease or anything, okay? It's that very simple, very simple, but I really, really, really want you to hear me. This week, uh, Jane and I uh, separated a week ago. We went through, as every human being, through a very difficult time. All week, we were focusing on all this emotional roller coaster that was going uh, in both of us. We went through denial. Well, I'm going to be better without him, her, and. Uh, he, she, anyways, had this, 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 I didn't like and didn't work for me, and, and it's all good, and here's the freedom, right? So this, this uh, stage of denial, and then stage of, of regrets and, and pains of separation, and fears, and longings, and everything, and, and we fought. Um, that's what ego does. It does that dance. It, it, it creates chaos. It allows us to purge through this process. And as I was watching myself, watching this pain that, you know, the mind is under, it understands, the mind observes, well, actually, observer observes, observes the mind, the work of the mind, the work of the ego. And you understand that this pain is temporarily. You don't indulge too much. You feel it strongly strongly, especially in our case, we love each other so deeply. We love each other and we are so uh, merged together and we're so uh, deeply connected and care about each other that the separation was extremely difficult. And I was just sitting through my pain and sitting and sitting. I was not trying to avoid it or distract myself with anything. I was just sitting in it, as hard as it was, as hard as it was. 
and mind is fighting you can just see the mind is fighting no i'm not coming back and do not ask me i'm not coming back i will not forgive you that that and whatever whatever dance is doing <laughs> whatever and you just go through that and then it's obvious that the struggle is not real and i just ask myself a question what wrong perception am I having now that got me here? And the interesting thing, you don't even need to have an answer to that. The question itself dissolves the illusion which creates pain. That's what, what just happened. What wrong perception am I having now that I'm in such pain? And suddenly, instantly, it was a moment of absolute clarity. No pain. No pain. No pain. And I packed my things and I knew I'm coming home. I'm coming back. There was no more there was no more inner dance, inner conflict. But I should not forgive that he did and said that and then I felt that and I was hurt by that. And, and all this story that, that we justify our hurt, that's how we, that, that's how we go through separation and breakups. To justify our hurts. We blame another, we, we don't want to see our stuff, our role, or we see it and then we feel shame or guilt, or whatever people feel, whatever, but depending on the situation, what's going on, right? That's what ego does, it defends. It's, it's built to self soothe self-identify with something better than and so on and so forth we cannot indulge in this game we have to we have to see through the game of the mind mind cannot heal itself mind has to be silent for a moment for healing to happen and it occurs on its own yes uh in my work when i work with clients i use a lot of different te techniques and modalities to facilitate healing so many other healers that's what we do but for self-healing to occur to anybody who who, who want to heal whatever wounds that we have in now whatever experience is causing the the, the conflict just remember the mind cannot heal itself, it cannot heal the body. Every reframe that we do and belief system change and that and another, it's nice temporary solution, it's nice ease of the problem, but it never go as deep as the cause. And the cause is the illusion itself. What wrong perception am I having right now? That's just that simple. What wrong perception am I having right now? <laughs> so I packed my stuff, came home, and ego was not screaming anymore. You should not, you cannot, you cannot forgive, you, you, you will be better on your own, all this stuff, right? Blah, 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 blah. It just became simple. Honey, I'm home. And that's it. And uh, for both of us, it was great healing. Time apart shows how much, how much we love each other, how much we care about each other. And how much our differences, they, they deserve control, too strong individuality, personalities came together, and there's desire for control, and desire for freedom, and my way or highway, or that or not, <laughs> or little games that ego plays. None of it suddenly matter because love can sustain it all, can heal it all, can solve it all. And just like that. Honey, I'm home. And my honey jumped on me and was so happy, despite all his stories that he was telling to himself, oh, I am a man in a family, and uh, that's my way, and uh, if not, then the highway. We both, we, we both tell the story to each other, but they, not, not, nobody wins. <laughs> nobody ever can. The egos can struggle and fight and try to divide territory. It's all bullshit, because love, is the only thing that matters. And love is open healing heart. 
that's the product of open healing heart. The mind cannot heal. The mind will talk you out of benefits of love or um, your capacity for love or endurance. Love needs endurance. No, not true. Love doesn't need it. The relationship need endurance. And so we endure. And then you don't even need to forgive anymore. We don't need to forgive each other now. We just gain clarity. Forgiveness is the, the whole story of forgiveness is a part of our illusion. See, another thing that I sh sh want, to, want to suggest to look at. Nobody can hurt you but your mind. Nothing can hurt you but your thoughts. Right? And when we understand that there is nobody to forgive ever, neither another person, another, another out there, or ourselves, there is nobody to forgive. There is the forgiveness does not exist anymore as a concept when, when we understand it's only the mind that creates the problem. Whatever anybody does, they do it because that they they process. It's nothing to do with us, it's not personal. They are hurting in some way because of their own wrong perception. If you are hurting right now, what wrong perception are you having right now? If your loved one hurting, ask her or him, what wrong perception, honey, are you having right now that you are hurting and blaming me as you're doing that? You're going through your process. Can you see that it's a wrong perception? Whatever perception is, it's a wrong one if it causes pain. It's that simple, my lovers. I wanted to share it with you because simple question and simple understanding and realizing that it's never about you when another person struggles with something and it's never about them when you struggle with something. It's not a problem. It's not um, unsolvable challenge. It's just a wrong perception. That's all it is. So, if you know that, you will gain clarity very fast. You don't need to go through complicated healing processes and reframing processes and facilitation processes and self-soothing lies that people, that's what we do very often. We self-soothe, we lie, we deny, we start to deny the heart, we start to deny our pains, we start to go upright in the mind, if we start to do it metaphorically, up, high, low heart, mind, but, right? But we go, start to go into thinking because into thinking the anger help us, help us to, to, to self-soothe a little. Just stay off here. I'm not hurting. I'm okay. Because that was wrong and that was wrong and now it just ends safe. And it's lie. It's lies. My invitation, if that's happening, especially if it's interpersonal conflict, Drop into heart, allow yourself to feel. It's painful, it's sometimes unbearably painful. And so sit, don't panic, don't consider that it will be like that forever. And definitely don't go into despair. Just sit and, and accept the pain for as long as it have a hold on you and it will have a hold on you for a while. And then when you finally it let go of you a little and you're able to awaken and ask questions. What wrong perception am I having now? Don't try to solve it out there. Don't try to solve the dream. Don't try to solve things in the dream. None of it matters what's going out there. You will wake up if you ask yourself what wrong perception I'm having now. And that's it. If it helped you in any way, if you're going through anything right now, let me know. Um, I would love to be of service and hopefully my experience, as much as it was painful, uh, was serving you. Much love from me, much love from my honey. Um, we love you. See you soon. Bye-bye.